My name is Nadia Kabilenke, and uh, who I am is a vast question. In my childhood, we traveled a lot, so I have like a kind of a immigration history and back background behind me. So the title uh, is Inner Circle, and uh, the piece is very much inspired by a walk that I had when I came the first time to Bruges. We discovered this place, the central place of the city, where you have the Rotary uh, Club, club, and these exclusive kind of clubs that are very known, for example, from societies like uh, England. And uh, I always thought that it's related somehow to places where you have a tradition of kingdom, empires, where you have the nobility, where you have these kind of uh, secret societies somehow elite elite mm -hmm. society and we found these kind of traces also in Bruges so these two things combined together and brought us to um, develop an idea that we already started years ago with the piece related to a bench it, we made several uh, I would say variations of it but every time that we made a variation this would be the last one by the one that, that by the way the one we will do in Bruges but it has a completely different dimension because it is a public piece now, a very big one, and uh, it is related to the very core of the city, as I explained. Mm -hmm. uh, the other ones, uh, the first one we produced in 2010, mm -hmm. and at that time there was a kind of a conflict, and I think it's still an ongoing conflict, between the Historical Museum of Cairo and the Neuss Museum in Berlin. Because, of course, Cairo wants to uh, get back Nefertiti, mm -hmm. and the Neuss Museum absolutely refuses, and. I'm not knowledgeable about the arguments because the piece was not bought, was not borrowed, uh, was not also gifted. No. So the only, only thing that you can imagine happened is looting. And we have many of these specimens, if I can call them this way, in uh, some of the most pre prestigious and important museums in Europe. You know, for me, there are two things that make me think of the Western world looted art that everywhere else in the world is a crime and in Europe it's okay and even they are very proud of it and we have to pay money to get uh, us Africans we need to pay money to go to see our work and that's okay and the second thing in our country in Tunisia or North Africa pigeons they are not only a symbol of peace because it is in the books we really treat them like that and when we see pigeons it's always a sign of something positive freedom and we see them in public places we never connect them to negative negativity so in the oriental world you would never come up with such an aggressive apparatus to tell the birds where they can sit or poo or not. Yeah. So for me, this is also another perversive idea is to come to really the free element. We are all free, but what is more free than a bird? Adding the pigeon spikes, the control spikes on the bench is a way to take a revenge for the birds because uh, the bench is always a, pr a promise of taking a, a break, yeah. of giving yourself a small present. Uh, doing something for yourself within the hustle and the stress of the city. So I wanted to create a contradictory object, an object that is schizophrenic in itself. So it, it gives you the thing and it's opposite at the same time. It is really more, almost like a lively object. Depending where you put it, it will start unfold. It has a kind of universal language because everyone knows what a bench is and everyone approximately, if you're not really from Tunisia, probably because we don't have it. Yeah. Uh, so that now for Bruges, we're doing something quite different because the benches are going to be modified in order to have this perfect circle. You have to produce them at a certain particular angle and it's yeah. quite tricky to do it. But also because we want to speak about this uh, exclusivity and exclusivity means also if I don't know the others, I'm protecting myself from them. Mm -hmm. And it's all often based on uh, ignorance, but ignorance brings fe uh, fear, brings aggressivity. And the idea is also that inside it's empty. So at the end of the day, when you only concentrate on the protection, you don't gain anything of it. You really st stand in an empty core. It's really very central and you cannot avoid it. And at the same time, it will be very much integrated in the hall because the city hall is a square. So yeah. square is also related always to a circle. Mm -hmm. It just perfectly fits into each other. And then the position of the Rotary Club and all.